Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, those tuning in through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast, glad you all could join us as well. If you're looking for that encouragement that you need to be able to move forward in your life and to make a difference as well as an impact, our next guest, I think, is someone you're definitely going to really enjoy. We're excited to welcome Ellie Sheffy to our program. Ellie's known by many titles, but she's an entrepreneur, she's a keynote speaker, and an award-winning author. Her newest book is one that I think you guys will really get a lot out of. It's called Unlocking Your Superpower, Eight Steps to Turn Your Existing Knowledge into Income. We'll talk to Ellie not only about the journey of unlocking her superpower, but what it's been like for her to make a difference in the lives of others along the way. Ellie, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. So, Ellie, you know, to kind of tie into your latest book, I mean, what has it been like for you to do just that, to unlock your superpower and to see the difference you've been able to make? It is so empowering to take my life experience and be able to help others to create the life that they envision. And Ellie, you are someone who has not had it easy. I mean, you've been able to go through your own challenges. You've been able to overcome a lot. And now, not only have you been able to thrive yourself, but also to share with others how they can do it. Why has that been so important for you? Why has it been important for you not only to find success for yourself, but to make sure other people can do the same? Well, as you referenced, I have been through fire after fire. I mean, I I grew up without a lot of money. I was abused, I've been raped, I've been in a domestic violence marriage, I've been homeless, Uh, I'm a medical miracle, I've had 13 major surgeries in the last 13 years alone, and I'm a cancer survivor. And so for me, to be able to take everything I've learned through every experience I've had and help others so that they can, they can unlock their own superpower, they can create their life that they envision easier. Um, And, you know, there is tremendous power in taking what's happened to you and saying, here, take my hand, let me help you. Let me journey alongside you. Let me make your life easier so that you don't have to go through everything that I've gone through to learn the same lessons. Let me help you get where you want to be faster and easier with the lessons I've learned in creating a resilient mind, the lessons I've learned in starting and pivoting and and diversifying and scaling businesses, the lessons I've learned in finding my voice and standing in my power and deciding for myself who I am and what I stand for and what I want my life to be. There is such freedom when you realize that you have everything you need within you. And yes, there are times you need to level up your skills or you need to reach out for a coach or a mentor. But innately, we have everything we need within us to create the life that we desire. Yeah. And Ellie, you bring up a couple of points I want to dive into because for those out there who have gone through challenges and who have seen the darkness in life and have have experienced the hopelessness even with all the things you just mentioned here you you say in the beginning of the book that you're a person who has an attitude of gratitude so i guess an obvious question would be how have you done that i mean in spite of everything that you've gone through how have you been able to keep that that gratitude Gratitude is your key to freedom. There is the the three biggest keys that I've learned along the way are the power of gratitude, the power of perspective, and the power of meaning. So everything, we cannot control what happens to us, right? Things happen to us. COVID happened. COVID's a great example. So we can't control the external. All we can control is the internal. And the internal 
comes from the meanings that we ascribe to the events that happen to us. So when something terrible is happening, I have that choice. I have that power within me to either do the woe is me, why is this happening to me, oh, this sucks, you know, um, oh, the hot water's out today, oh, it's cold, the AC went out. Or I can flip the meaning and step into gratitude and say, oh, thank you so much that I have water to shower with. Thank you so much that I have a roof over my head. Thank you so much that I have food to eat, you know, um, and then harnessing that and taking it one step further and keeping perspective. So I know that no matter what happens to me, somebody somewhere in the world has is experiencing something worse or has less than I have. And one of the most powerful turning points for me was one time when I was in the hospital and they said, oh, you'll be dead within two weeks. And they, I was in a wheelchair and I couldn't walk um, because of medication reactions. And they came to to get me to take me to another, like, god-awful test. And at that point, I'd been fighting already for about seven years. And I was done. Like, I, I had laid in the bed, and I just looked up, and I said, okay, God, I'm done. Take me now. You win. I don't have any fight left. And when the porter came to get me, he took me down a hallway that he had never taken me down before. And it was the hallway where of the intensive care unit where everyone was either they were all on ventilators and either they were on a ventilator because they were paralyzed from the neck down or you know in a medically induced coma uh you know or a variety of reasons and in that moment when i was being wheeled down and i looked into room after room after room of all of these people i realized thank you, God, for my pain, right? How blessed and grateful am I that I have synapses that are firing and nerves that are connected and systems that are speaking to each other that I can feel the pain in every cell of my body. Like what any of these people would give to feel their feet again, what any of these people would give to feel their hands again, what any of these people would give to feel the pain that I'm feeling right now because they will never again feel that. So how blessed am I to be able to feel it? Yeah. And I, I've i learned that type of thing time and time again. So I, 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 it's the power of gratitude. It's the power of perspective. It's the power of the, the meanings that we ascribe to things. And that's why I started earlier with we all have it within us. Those are things nobody can take away from us. We can control our mind. We can control our perspective. We can control living in an attitude of gratitude. Right. And as you said to um, Ellie, actually, in the book, and using a quote that, that's in there, that, that no one is you and that is your superpower, and I think realizing that you have a particular gift and a particular talent and that the world needs that. So you you kind of go through in these eight steps in the newest book, Unlocking Your Superpower, about the importance, for one thing, of being able to unlock what that is, to recognize what that is. What has it been like for you to hear from your audience, Ellie, about how what you've shared with them, either in a speaking engagement or a book like this or an article, how it has helped them to make those steps necessary? It makes everything worth it. It is so incredibly fulfilling to know that I can share my experiences to help others unlock their own superpower, to to let everybody know that you have a voice, your voice matters, your story matters, and you are amazing and incredible and perfect just the way you are and you are the only you that exists and that is why it is your superpower and somebody in the world is awaiting for you to show up as you to share your experiences to share your knowledge to shine your light and to just be you somebody is waiting for that to happen and to be able to equip and empower people to unlock themselves 
to step fully into themselves uh, to align with their to identify and then uh, align with their their passion their purpose their mission is so incredibly fulfilling and rewarding and amazing um, and I'm honored and I'm grateful to be even a small part of people's journey. Yeah, and I know they're they're very fortunate to be able to have you. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome Ellie D. Sheffy to our program today. Ellie's talk with us not only about her own journey, what she's been able to overcome and how she's been able to rise and thrive. And her latest book is called Unlocking Your Superpower, Eight Steps to Turn Your Existing Knowledge into Income. You can get it through our friends at Amazon.com. We're going to remind you of that, as well as how you can stay connected with, with Ellie. So, Ellie, Faith is another thing that you even reference in this in this conversation. You've talked about it in the book. I think, though, as people look forward, though, I mean, there's a lot of challenges, even as we're seem to be coming out of the tail end of the pandemic. Still a lot of challenges in the world. People are dealing with a lot of things when it comes to not only, of course, building their brand, but also, of course, being able to provide for themselves. The keys that you've been able to share, I think, allow people to see exactly what the subtitle says of the book, uh, how to turn your existing knowledge into income. But you've been able to expand on your brand. Has that been something that has been a surprise even to you, how your brand has grown over the years? Absolutely. Um, and I think that goes back to when you stand aligned in your mission and your purpose and you unlock your voice and you find your own superpower, which is you, your your uniqueness, um, it resonates with people. And as you take a step forward, then another step happens and another step happens and another step happens. And you connect with more and more and more people and continue to unlock more and more of your own superpowers, layer after layer after layer. And the more you step into that full embodiment of yourself, the more you can evolve into the next uh, and expand into the next version of you. And it's a constant process, right? Life is a journey. It's a journey of growth. It's a journey of experience. It's a journey of connection. It's a journey of evolution. And so to just be along in that journey and stay present and stay aligned and stay focused um, and stay heart-centered and and on a mission to serve and um, that's why it's turn your existing knowledge incomes uh, your existing knowledge and passion you know into income it's what do you know do and love how can you use what you know do and love to serve others yeah yeah and and would you agree Ellie that because of the world we live in today especially now what we see we can achieve with, really without leaving our homes that that is a reminder for people that they can literally start where they are Absolutely. It has never been easier to launch, pivot, or scale a business than it is right now. We have Zoom that allows you to reach much larger audiences for free. You can start by doing joint Facebook Lives. You can start by, you know, doing Instagram Lives. You can reach out to people on podcasts. You can just go live and share your message, share your heart, share your knowledge, share your passion. Um, it's never been easier to start. And, again, once you get the, the first step going, then people connect with you, people resonate with you, people start asking you questions, and then you answer them, and your business starts evolving from that because you're actually serving the needs of the people who are asking you questions or the people that you're engaging with. Yeah, that's a great point. And I think that, too, I think the listening part, do you think that has been a big key to your success in the in the different arenas you've been in, Ellie, the gift of listening and being able to actually provide what people want and need instead of just what you think they want and need? It's critical. It is absolutely critical. Your business, your life, your mission is service. It is serving others, which means you need to meet them where they are. You are there to help them. It's not about you. It's about them. And you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they need. You don't know what they want. You don't know what their challenges are. You can't help them through that if you're not listening to and hearing them and 
being present and then meeting their needs. But it starts from service and it starts from meeting their needs, which they are communicating to you. Such a great point. So, Ellie, I mean, you've done so much and even releasing this book as we were going through the pandemic to offer these actionable tools for audiences. What are you looking for in 2021? What is it that for you is kind of the key for this year? I am so excited. I just launched a nonprofit, the Made to Change the World Foundation. And so it is a nonprofit focused on serving underserved youth, uh, first youth entrepreneurship, then youth advocacy, and then um, uh, sustainability and environmental wing. And so for me, it's I have spent so many years serving entrepreneurs, serving authors, serving speakers, serving women, helping women to find their voice and stand in their power. And so to be able to expand that to the next generation is a dream come true. And I am so excited for 2021. Um, I've got at least two more books coming out, two that I've already finished the manuscripts and uh, wow. submitted. So that's, that's exciting. Um, but my focus for 2021 is going to continue to show up and serve powerfully continue to meet people where they are, continue to help people create the life that they envision, whether that's their business, their family, their community, to continue to help people unlock their voice, stand in their power, define for themselves who they are and what they want their life to be, and to expand that to uh, reaching the next generation. Well, what a great thing, and it's so great that you're able to use what you've learned, but also your experiences and that attitude of gratitude, Ellie, to be able to help other people. Again, everyone, Ellie D. Sheffy has been our guest. Great conversation, Ellie. Again, the latest book that Ellie has published is called Unlocking Your Superpower, Eight Steps to Turn Your Existing Knowledge into Income. We touched on some of those steps here, but Ellie, how can our audience stay connected with you and kind of keep up with the journey? Well, you can reach out to me on any social media channel. Uh, it's Ellie Sheffy across the social medias. Or, of course, connect with me on my website, ellieshefie.com. All right. Ellie, congratulations to you again. Really appreciate the time and looking forward to having you back on the program again. Thank you so much for having me, and I look forward to continuing the conversation and to continuing to serving powerfully. Yeah, I know, know, and I definitely look forward to seeing how our audience can benefit from it as well. And we thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.